Tonight, an Arlington couple is trying to clear their son's name. He was accused of sexual assault, but the Tarrant County District Attorney dropped the case because none of the evidence pointed to him. And years later, they're still trying to get their lives back together. Here's Rebecca Lopez. That's our hope. And, and that's our prayer. Jacqueline and Cedric Childs say for four years they have lived a nightmare. This is unbelievable. The pain, the stress, the pressure, uh, the financial challenge. Four years ago, they ran a home daycare, No Limits Learning Academy in Arlington. One night, they got a call from the parents of a little girl in their care, accusing the child's teenage son of sexually assaulting their four-year-old daughter. And they handcuff him and take him away. And uh, for a crime he didn't, we know he did not do. Arlington police arrested the child's son with no DNA evidence or physical evidence. The only evidence they had was the testimony of a four-year-old child. In fact, Arlington police ran warrants at the daycare, took out more than 30 pieces of evidence. Which included mats, books, and toys. Mm -hmm. And on these were supposedly be um, evidence um, that would have really put our son in, in, in jail, prison. For life. But there was no forensic evidence on any of the items. The little girl's family then turned over two pairs of her undergarments and told police they would find the suspect's DNA on them. The DNA excluded the child's son. Our son was totally, completely ruled out. The case was so weak, the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office declined to prosecute and drop the charges. But the child's nightmare was not over. The state's child care licensing shut down their daycare and told News 8, we conducted an investigation and the findings were substantiated. We feel like we have been bullied um, by child care licensing, child care protective services, the Arlington Police Department, and including this particular family. The child say the arrest still comes up in their son's background check. They say they will not stop fighting until he is completely exonerated and they get their daycare back. The Arlington Police Department told us that they are pursuing no other suspects in this case. The Childs do believe that there is an abuser out there, but it is not their son. We spoke with the victim's family. She tells us, the mother, uh, she tells us that she believes that this teenage boy is still the person who did this. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News.